Hey, so I'm currently working on this massive boiler right behind me. And uh, the inspector said that the boiler needs to have a sight glass. So I'm adding a sight glass way up there on that huge expansion tank. But the piece of glass that we have here is longer than what we can fit. Um, I measured up there and figured that we need it to be exactly 16 inches and 3 eighths. A little scratch in the paint is our mark. And there are a couple different ways that you can cut this. Like I've seen where people use a, a triangular file and they file it and then gently snap it. All I have with me is a small glass cutter. But these, these can also work. So we're going to go ahead and use this to cut the tubing. So we have our glass cutter here and our goal is to just make a little score in the glass using the wheel on here. Just like that. You just use really gentle pressure when you're actually breaking it. And it's still a little bit sharp, but not too bad, and these sight glasses make a seal around this edge. This side, as you can see, has been heated. First, before we go up there, we're going to put the parts on that are needed to make the seal. First, we've got our packing nut that slides in. Then there's a little metal washer that goes on next, and then our rubber packing goes right there. And that's going to tighten on and make the seal around this outside of the glass. This is the bottom fitting. The bottom fitting has a drain on it and the top fitting does not. What you want to do is get your bottom fitting tightened in so that it's facing perfectly up. And you want your other one to be tightened in until it's at about a five o'clock position so that you can stick the glass up into there and then tighten it just that last bit and then drop it down into the lower fitting. This top one allows you to stick the glass in pretty far. This bottom one only allows you to drop it in like a quarter inch and after you drop it down and get the packing nut started you're supposed to lift the glass at least a sixteenth of an inch because you don't want the glass to actually contact anything that's metallic because um, that could lead to early breakage from expansion. And there it is, all installed. Unfortunately, I didn't video it because I didn't want to drop the glass. But you don't want to over-tighten these, whatever you do. So it's better to tighten them a little bit less, let water into the system, see if they leak. If they do leak, then tighten them a quarter turn at a time, making sure you're checking in between tightening to make sure that they have all tightened okay but I think it looks pretty good. Feels very nice. There's also guard rods that go on some of these. Since this one was an odd length, we didn't get guard rods with it. Also, nothing's really gonna hit it when it's way up here. But some places you'll wanna add those guard rods in there. Looks good though. And there it is with the water in the system. As you can see, it's probably about uh, maybe 7 sixteenths full. Of nice clean clear water so we'll keep an eye on it if if this tank got waterlogged over the next couple days then we would know that we had some sort of leak up there but I'm guessing it's going to be fine